Today, let's have a look at how to build this scale-in text effect using Webflow and GSAP. This style of animation can really help you add emphasis to whatever you're trying to say on your website. Additionally, I'm gonna go over how to have multiple of these on your page, and we'll use GSAP's scroll trigger plugin so that you can control when it comes into view the animation plays. All right, let's hop into it. So I'm in Webflow here. The main thing you wanna know is that I have two of these page divs, and each one is the same and has this heading, um, has this heading text in there with WB data equals text. If you've watched my previous videos, this shouldn't be nothing new. WB data equals text is also on this one. The other thing to note is that on the page settings, if I click the gear here and go to the bottom, inside of the head tag, I have these custom style tags. These are used to prevent flash of unstyled content. You can grab this code from my um, Notion database. I call it my ultimate Webflow resources guide. I'll leave the link to this in the description below, but it's this code right here. And then I further explain how it works using the auto alpha uh, property. And there's some links to the green set documentation as well. Further down in the before closing body tag, we're gonna load the normal GSAP library as well as the scroll trigger plugin. On the GSAP install, install page, you just wanna click scroll trigger here and you're gonna be loading both of these. I'm also using split type from Luke PV. And lastly, we're loading a code sandbox file with the scale in script here. So let's have a look at the code. Okay, first thing we're gonna do is we wanna register the scroll trigger plugin. This makes scroll trigger available to us in our later code. Next, I wanted to find a variable called text L's. That stands for elements. And I'm gonna use document.querySelectorAll to get everything on the page with this data attribute that I specified in Webflow, WB data equals text. The next thing we wanna do is we wanna run a for each loop on the text L's node list. Within this for each loop, we'll have access to each text element itself. The first thing we wanna do is we wanna call split type on our text element. And we're gonna say that we just want the characters. We don't wanna deal with words or lines in this animation. Next, we're going to use gsap.set on the text element to set auto alpha to one. This is covered in the guide like I mentioned earlier. Now we're going to define our from animation. The from animation takes two parameters. First is what to animate, and that's the split type dot characters. And then the second is the properties that we want to animate. Right now it's an empty JavaScript object, but we're going to fill that up with the properties to animate. The first thing will animate from a property of auto alpha to from zero. And again, it's going to be going to one. We're going to scale from 10 and that's gonna come back to one, which is our original setting. We're gonna set a stagger time of 0.1 seconds. We're gonna set the easing function to expo.out. And now we're gonna actually define scroll trigger. Scroll trigger takes this empty object. Well, I've defined an empty object, but we're gonna put two things inside of it. The first thing is the trigger. The trigger we want to be the text element itself. And then we're gonna tell it when to start that animation. And we want it to start when the bottom of the element is 90% from the top of the viewport screen. These last two ones, repeat negative one and repeat delay of 0.5, I'm actually gonna wait on these. Let me save this now so that we can refresh and see how our code does. I'm gonna, ref I've scrolled to the top and I'm gonna refresh again. And so our animation plays and it should only play once since we didn't specify any repeat. So that's done and now as we scroll, we don't want our second animation to play until we're 90%, the bottom, oh, there it goes, is 90% from the top of the viewport height. So that's it. If you want to watch the animation again, then I'll just add this repeat of negative one and repeat delay of 0.5 seconds. Oops. Save. And now it'll repeat infinitely. If you found this helpful, please like and subscribe. Uh, also be sure to get access. There's a bunch more stuff in this uh, library here. And then I'll put any other resources in the description box below. Thanks so much for watching and catch you in the next one. Bye. Yeah.